Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, my name is Emmanuel. In our last video, we learned about user defaults for uh, persistent data. And um, just a couple of weeks ago, we worked on and completed a food ordering application called Yummy. So what we're going to be doing today is for our onboarding screen, whenever we get started, we don't want to show the onboarding screen again. So let me just quickly show you what we have. So if I go ahead and run this project, So you can see over here we have our onboarding screen. Click on next, next, get started. And now I'm going to go ahead and run this application one more time. And you can see that it still brought us back to the onboarding screen. So what we want to do instead is when you click on get started and you rerun the application, we want to send you directly to this home screen. All right. So that's what we're going to be doing in this video. Now, um, if you'd like to um, follow along and you don't have the project, I'm going to leave a link to the finished project. If you are interested in uh, maybe taking the Yummy series, then I'm going to leave a link to that as well. Otherwise, if you just prefer to implement what we're going to be learning today in your own application, then by all means, just go ahead and do that. All right. So the first thing we want to do is we're going to head over to the info.plist and there's a couple of things we're going to need to remove. So first of all, head over to this particular tab, Application Scene Manifest. And we're going to expand the Scene Configuration, Application Session Rule, the Item. And we want to get rid of this particular item, which says um, Storyboard Name. And we're going to delete this. Then the next thing we want to do is right here, we can see where we have Main Storyboard File Base Name. We want to delete that as well. So basically what we're trying to do is we want to have full control over what uh, view controller is loaded whenever the app is launched. All right. So now that we have this done, the next thing we want to do is we want to head over to our um, scene delegate. So let's, where's that guy right here. So we want to head over to the scene delegate and right here in the will connect to session. Now here, what we want to do is we want to create an instance of our window. So this is going to be seen. And then you can see right at the top here, we have a variable called window. And what we want to say is window is going to be equal to UI window. And this is going to take a parameter called um, window scene. And here we're just going to pass in our scene. Okay. Now the next thing we want to do is we want to check, we want to basically just determine what um, view controller to load. But for now, what I want to do just to make sure that everything works is we're going to load our um, onboarding screen. So we're going to make that the root view controller. So how do we do that? The first thing we want to do is want to say, want to get um, an instance of our storyboard. So I'm going to say, let storyboard be equal to UI storyboard. And the name of the storyboard is going to be name, which is this storyboard right here. And for bundle can just leave that as nail. All right. Now that we have access to the storyboard, we can go ahead and create our controller, which is going to be equal to, and I think we actually just have this. So I'm just going to say um, the controller is going to be equal to the onboarding view controller dot instantiate. Awesome. So now this is going to create an instance of our onboarding view controller. Just confirm that right here. And now we can simply say window dot root view controller should be equal to controller and then we're just going to need to say window dot um, key make key and visible awesome so um, what we expect now is that when we run this application we should still see oh and that even reminds me let, let me see what this guy does let's confirm this so instantiate okay so instantiate already uses the main so we didn't actually need to create the storyboard all right so I'm just going to get rid of this particular line of code since this function already does that for us. Great. So um, now here we've created our controller. We've set the controller to be the root view controller of our window and we're just making it visible. Now let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so we have an error. Let's quickly cross check and see what the problem was. 
Okay, so it says that um, the view controller or the storyboard rather does not contain a view controller with this particular identifier. So um, remember, whenever we're going to be using this instantiate method, we're going to need to um, set the identifier in the main dot storyboard. And sorry for those of you who are um, basically just joining us and didn't follow the series. The, this is a sort of like a helper function that we created. It just helps us to be able to create an instance of a particular view controller class without having to always create the storyboard and then do the instantiate with identifier. Okay, so you could uh, you could just go ahead and create this extension for yourself. I think you're gonna find it quite helpful. So um, now we're gonna go over to our main dot storyboard, and what we want to do here is in our onboarding view controller we want to set the identifier so just bring this guy up head over right here not here in the identity inspector you can see where we have the storyboard id so i'm just going to paste that like this so um, let's go ahead and run this again okay great so basically we have the exact same thing that we had in the beginning but now we have full control over what what view controller should be loaded whenever the app is launched initially all right so now with this particular uh, feature in place you can see that it's going to be easier for us to either go directly to the onboarding screen or go to the home screen so how do we know what particular screen to go to now this is where the user defaults comes into play so what we're going to do is just following our last video or our video on user defaults, we're going to go over to our extensions folder and we're going to create a new file, a new Swift file that we will call um, user defaults extension. Whoosh. All right. So right here, we're going to create an extension of user defaults. And we're going to create a private enum, enum, and this is going to be user default keys, which is going to be of type string. Great. Now the case we're going to have is has onboarded. So, ooh, did I get that? All right. So basically, what we want to do is in our user defaults, we want to know whether or not the user has completed the on onboarding. All right. So uh, we're going to have a key that has uh, that is has aborted. So if this value is true, then we're going to go directly to the home screen. If it is false, then we are going to show the um, onboarding screen. OK, so now we have our user defaults key. Now, the next thing we want to do is create a property that says has aborted. And this is going to return bool. So, um, good. So now that we have this, we're just going to create two properties, the get and the set. Awesome. Now for the get, what we want to get is bool for key. And the key is going to be has, sorry, user default keys dot has onboarded dot raw value. And um, when you try to set, we want to set value and the value we want to set is the new value and this new value is going to be um, for the key user defaults dot has onboarded dot raw value perfect so um, yeah this is this is great so this is our user defaults and this is going to get the um, value of whether or not the user has onboarded and this basically sets it so at what point do we want to set that the user has onboarded? I want to do this when the get started button is clicked. So the get started button button is in the onboarding view controller. So we're going to head over right there and uh, let's just quickly find the next button. So this is it. So this is where our get started button is actually clicked because this is where we perform the um, transition that takes us to the home page all right so at this point what we want to do is we want to say user defaults dot standard dot has onboarded 
and we're going to be setting this value to true. Awesome. And there's no point where we want to set it to false because um, you're only going to onboard once on a particular device unless you delete and at the point where you delete this value becomes you know false right so um, yeah so whenever you click on get started the value for this is going to be updated then now that we have this we can now go back to our scene delegate and I'm just using command shift and O to bring up this dialog so now we're in the scene delegate so rather than opening up the onboarding view controller like this what we could do is we could say var controller as UI view controller. Okay. And we're sure that this exists. We're sure that it's going to exist anyways. So here, what we want to do is we want to check. So if user defaults dot standard dot has onboarded. So if you have onboarded then we want to take you directly to the home page. So what we're going to do is say controller equals home view controller dot instantiate. Otherwise, if you haven't onboarded, then we want to say controller equals onboarding view controller dot instantiate. Very simple. So now what this is going to do is it's going to check whether or not you've onboarded. Then if depending on the value, it's just going to set this controller to whatever that is. Then when it's done, it's just going to set the root view controller to be whatever this value is. All right, fair enough. So now I'm going to run this and um, what we should see is that it runs the application and still opens up the onboarding screen. Okay, because um, we haven't onboarded yet. So um, now I'm just going to run it again, just so you're sure that it still opens up the onboarding screen. So I'm going to click on next, next. And now that I've clicked on get started, it has saved the value to the user defaults that you have actually onboarded. So now I'm going to restart the app and we should see it um, redirect us straight to our home view controller. Okay, so we had a crash and um, let's see why this actually happened. So it says, um, and it's actually the same as the error we had initially. It says storyboard does, doesn't contain a view controller with identifier view controller. And uh, the reason why this is happening is because um, our view, we're actually supposed to go to the navigation controller. So I'm just going to go over to the main storyboard just so I can clarify that. So you can see that this is sort of our uh, main entry point for the home screen. So we we were trying to go directly to this, um, what's it called, this uh, view controller. But what we want to do is we want to um, navigate to this navigation controller. All right. So I'm just going to change something a little bit. So we're going to go back to the scene delegate. And so um, what we're going to do is right here, we're going to do things a little bit different for the onboarding view controller. Okay. So what we're going to do is let's just go over instead. Let's go to the um, um, onboarding view controller just to see how we redirect. So you can see over here, this is how we redirect to our um, home view controller. OK, so I'm just going to copy this particular line of code and we're going to go back right here. And we're going to paste this because basically what we want to do is we want to get the controller for the navigation controller. All right. So uh, this is going to be our controller. But at this point, we don't have storyboard. So we're going to have to do the same thing we do right inside our instantiate. And of course, we could just add a function here that just makes things a little bit simpler, just handles um, uh, instantiating the view controller more easily. OK, but just to keep things simple and quick, what we're going to do here is we're just going to copy this particular line of code and um, we're just going to paste that over here. So now this is going to give us our storyboard and uh, we're going to use this particular main storyboard and we're going to instantiate um, the view controller from the storyboard and the navigation controller is called home NC which I can verify 
right here. So if you click on this icon and expand this guy, you see over here the storyboard ID is home NC, which stands for navigation controller, right? So um, now we have this looking good. Let's go ahead and run this and hopefully we don't get another crash. Ooh, so we got another crash. Let's see what that is. It says it doesn't contain a view controller with identifier home view controller. Uh, did I let me see? So, uh, ooh, so I just went and changed the wrong place. My goodness. So um, if you have onboarded, want to go to the home view controller. This is where this should be done. And let's return this guy. I know you guys saw me doing the wrong thing and you didn't even correct me. It's not good, right? So we're going to run this. So even though it took some time before we actually saw what we wanted, you can see that now when we run the application, um, it takes us directly to the home view controller, which is what we want. We don't want to show the onboarding again. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to delete this application from right here just so that we can test the flow one last time. So I'm going to run the application. And since this is a new app, it is going to show us the onboarding screen. Good. Click on next, click on next, click on get started, it launches the application. Very good. Now we run the application one more time and it takes us directly to the home view controller. And there you have it, folks. This is how you use your user defaults. Who use, use, use. So this is how you use the user defaults to basically save the configuration or the state of the application. And um, yeah, you can just save the user the stress of always have, having to go through the onboarding flow. If you have any questions, please go ahead, leave it in the comment section. If you found this video useful in any way, then please go ahead, hit the thumbs up button. And if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Um, look forward to seeing you guys later. Yay!